Oh my goodness gracious, sweet Mary and Joseph, guess what I am making today? I am making a haul video. Oh my gosh. I just, I just gotta come out and say it. I've been so busy, I haven't been shopping in like forever. Oh, it was like heaven going into the mall. I, I got an addiction. It's a problem. I might need medical help. I do not know. But, um, yes, I am gonna do a haul right now. And I'm so excited. And, um... Right before I start showing everything, I just wanted to thank the people that leave me sweet comments and sweet messages on my YouTube account, on my Tumblr, on my daily booth and everything. Like, oh my goodness, I went on to one of my haul videos here on YouTube and I noticed I had comments, but I never even looked at them. And so I was just like, oh great, like it's either really good or really bad. I clicked it and someone was just like, you're really amazing, I love your personality, I love this, 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 this. And it was just... It was so sweet, and I read it, and I was, like, literally about to cry. Um, my eyes are watering right now, just thinking about it. Like, I just don't know what to say to, um, thank the people that do watch these videos and do and like them and enjoy them. Like, I, don't, I just don't know what to say right now. Like, I didn't think people actually watched my videos and liked them because a while back, you could go onto my YouTube account and go down a couple videos, like maybe in December, and there was just, there's a couple people on my YouTube thing that are just completely mean and rude, and it made me think no one actually really liked me that much, and you can go through my daily booth, and if you go back far enough, you can find like these extremely mean things people were saying, and it's just like, oh wow, like... It made me stop and wonder, like, do people even really like me? And, you know, to see people do like me, like, on my Tumblr, I get so many compliments in my ass box, and I never post them because they're compliments, they're not questions. But it's just, it's just so sweet. And I just want to thank you really quick before I start showing all this stuff that I bought. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I'm going to start showing stuff. And to let everyone know, it's all sell stuff. I'm not going to buy full price. Like, seriously. I just... I don't really do it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is my Abercrombie stuff because it's a lot and I just want to get it out of the way really quickly. And um, the first thing I got was a pair of jeggings. Like I need another pair. This is like my 10th pair. They're just, you know. If you don't know what jeggings are, they're leggings, but they look like jeans. The next thing I got was a tank that was on clearance for $12. I think it's like plus an extra so much, like 30 or 50% off. It smells amazing. But I bought this tank to go just with this actually. To go with these plaids. Because I like wearing plaids like either buttoned two or three times in the front. Or not even buttoned at all with like a tank underneath it. And this lace is just so pretty. I thought it looks good with either one. But um, you know, it's just two plaids. Here's this one. How much were these marked down to? 19. It's like really good deals. Both of them were that amount. Um, goodness. Then I got a cardigan that's three quarter length so you can wear it like, you know, in the spring. It has such feminine details. It's just amazing. Like the silk and then the cotton over top of it. It's just so delicate and like fragile looking it's so pretty and it's gonna look gorgeous with like a tank underneath it also bought like a little sweater thing and this was just to go like with the plaids too because I like to wear a plaid and then like a sweater like this on top especially at nighttime when it's really kind of chilly and cold because this is just extra snug and warm um next I'll show you my Urban Outfitters because I did go there and it's amazing I have hair sunglasses that are just look how fab they are with like my outfit today. It's just glamorous. Oh my goodness. Then I bought this fabulous bag that my sister kind of laughed at at first. But then she like said, no, 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 Brittany. It's you. It's really, really you. It's kind of like a satchel messenger bag. My sister called it a doctor's briefcase. A lot of room inside of it. Um, it buckles like this. Uh, can I get it to buckle? There we go. 
then you just like pop it open. It's really easy to buckle. I, I just had to make it look difficult for you guys. Then I got this very lovely tank. It's so gorgeous on. Like, I must say that. I must emphasize how gorgeous it is. Because, see, it's just a regular tank, but you see the swooping it does near the neck? That's, like, really, really pretty. Like, it's kind of, to a degree, like, sexy, but it's not, like, slutty sexy. It's, like, feminine, ladylike sexy. Um, of course, it has lace detailing in the back. And it has silk around, like, your arm area. And then the rest is just, like, really nice cotton. Then I got this. I know, it's kind of weird. I'm not wearing it till Christmas, though. Because it's February. And this is very Christmassy to me. This is, like, November, December. And I bought it for, like, this coming at Christmas. I want to do an ugly sweater. Little party. Even though this is really cute. But it's, like, cute. But it could totally fit in with the sweater party theme. But I like it. And it's on clearance for, like, 29 and then, of course, I had to buy a dress. I always had to buy a dress. It's cheetah pattern. And it's actually off the shoulders. So it's supposed to hang down kind of low. But it's really pretty. It's going to look gorgeous if Fab with, like, tights underneath it. And maybe, like, a little tiny kitten heel. Oh, pretty. I also went to Ulta. Because I first went to Sephora. But the headbands were, like, kind of expensive. So I went to Sephora and I got this for $5. And it looks exactly like um, this headband I saw at Nordstrom for $30. So I'm kind of happy. I kind of got a good deal. Um, and of course, I said Sephora. I don't know why I do this to myself because it's torturing. And it's probably recommended abuse. I drag myself into Sephora knowing good and well that I'm going to be like, I want this, 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 this. And I'm going to have to leave with none of it. Of course. Of course I bought something. Of course. But, um, like, I had really good intentions. I went through the entire store just looking. And I saw the door. And I was like, home free. I can leave. And then I remembered. Urban Decay relaunched their naked palette. So I just ran to the little Urban Decay aisle. Of course, they're sold out, and there's a three-month wait. But, but, I saw the Stila palette. It looks like this. This palette, which was $40, and it's, like, price value is, like, 60 or 70 is on clearance for under $20. And it has, like, that many colors. Amazing. Um, 37 colors and four brushes in it. But, yeah, they got this on sale if you want it. At Sephora and Ulta, but um, <clears throat> here's what I bought there. Long well, story short, I bought Laura Mercier. It's her um, wonderful, amazing tinted moisturizer, SPF 20. Um, I bought it in nude. That's the color I wear. This was twenty dollars, and I know like the full size bottle is probably about fifty bucks, and I think that's it. Anyways. This is about it, and um, I hope to hear from y'all soon. Bye!